I really feel that there is this collective subconscious rage that is just boiling in women. And it's coming up in so many ways we see, we see in the media and, and, and what's going on is this unowned rage that comes up in, in many different ways. Um, and on one hand, it needs to come out. We need to clear it. It needs to be expressed. It needs to be acknowledged. On the other hand, it's not enough. This is only like, this is breaking the ice so that the next step of evolution can, you know, mm. consciousness can start coming through. And that's what I'm lacking in women. Mm. It's really to take responsibility for what we do as women in our manipulation, in our seduction, in our control. And, and it's so easy for women to say, but that's just because we're angry and men did this and patriarchy. But it's, um, it's such a lack of responsibility. And this women really need to know. Because we could say, we could look at say Me Too, which has been kind of ongoing for a long time and is still a massive force. Yeah. And we can say, that it's it's brought up a lot of male shadows. It's mm -hmm. brought it's shown up a lot of male behaviour mm -hmm. that is just inexcusable, should not happen, mm -hmm. and it's it's certainly you could say started as a positive thing, but then you also have like there's there's perhaps a danger of it slipping into a very simplistic narrative of men as only aggressors, women as only victims. Is that something that you're worried about? I'm very worried about that because what it feels like is. It has displayed the male shadow, but who talks about the female shadow? The rage that, that women are expressing blindly and projecting onto whichever situation and whichever man that they can. This is not an empowered woman. This is not the empowered feminine. This is the underbelly of feminism. This is when feminism goes wrong. This is not the future. It's not the future to blame and to project and to persecute. Can you explain what you mean a bit more about when feminism goes wrong? When feminism goes wrong, we allow the collective rage to act out through us. So we see every situation, we see every man, we see every encounter with the lens of, of the victim. And we're so angry about it. And it's, it's boiling in every woman. It's right under the surface. So she will quickly snap if, if, there's, if there's a reason or if there's an apparent reason because it's so strong, it hasn't discharged. It's in the collective and that rage needs to discharge, but it needs to dis discharge in an intelligent way, not in an unconscious way. And you said before that that rage is often directed at men not showing up. I'd say it's, it's two-way because yes, it's, it's targeted at men not showing up or they are causing it, but it's very often projected out to men that are actually trying to show up, that is actually engaging with, with, engaging with women and actually talking about these things. So that's, that's because then we, we bring up this topic and then it's so easy for women to tap into that collective pool of rage and it, it just comes out. This is, this is where women need to step up and take responsibility and stop blaming men. It's pointless. We need to transcend this. We can't solve this, we can't solve this problem from the, se from the same level. We need to transcend and look at how am I adding to this dynamic as a woman? Because we are, we are co-creating it in perfect harmony. If women are angry, we absolutely need to take responsibility for getting ourselves to another place. If you want a more direct experience of some of the topics in this film, Rebel Wisdom is running workshops for men to grow up and show up more in the world. Check the website for more great films, such as the first full-length documentary on Jordan Peterson, and for details of our upcoming events.